The Central Music Association has been conducting musical awareness in select villages for the past 12 months to help educate musicians on how best to recognize the importance of their art and how to be active on the online space via digital footprints. CMA launched its last awareness program at the Conedobu Scouts office in the presence of many well-known senior musicians and up-and-coming artists. Martin Rawali, music legend and vice president for CMA, expressed how CMA has helped artists to date. Central Music Association, all people come together and uh, we, we form this uh, association uh, to help central music, musicians who are, uh, most of them are in rural places. They're very talented uh, in music. They can play music, they can sing really well, but lo help them all, how lo market them. Uh, sing sing blow all, uh, salim blow, come some really money. Like we Lapuns here, we are the ones who are trying to you know help, help our young ones, to get them to, because they, they are the ones who are eating the airwaves right now, so uh, we're trying to help them to, uh, you know, protect their uh, property. CMA, a non-for-profit organization, was set up by a group of senior and emerging musicians from the central province. CMA Interim President Alan Kedder had this to say on CMA's work. The Central Music Association is a non-for-profit organization. We're not, in the, we're not in the business of making profit or money. Um, really, CMA is about supporting our artists, our local artists, supporting industry, and we are for Central Province. That's ultimately uh, who we are for and who we represent. Keder said they are in the process of building a database that recognizes all details and background of the artist and more, adding that CMA have received a first-of-its-kind partnership with the PNG Australia Partnership. Carol Kiru Jr., TV1 News.